Inga. Inga. I'll catch you. Oh, there's another bike there. So yeah, it's been a really, I'm really, I'm really glad that I phone, I didn't phone him, I MSN him. I'm really glad that I talked with uh, my friend there. His name is Omero. I think it's his, it's not his real name, it's, I don't know what his real name is. I, 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 I'm in the habit, I, I get myself in the habit of calling people by their online name as opposed to their real name. You know, like even if I know someone's real name, I, I tend to just ignore it and call them by their like YouTube name or something. And his name's his online name is Omero, O-M-E-R-O. -E so it's kind of kind of funny. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I talked to him. And this morning I was almost kind of regretting it. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm riding. I'm kind of because I I prefer to ride alone in general. I just I prefer to just, you know kind of let us ride on my own, choose whatever road I want to explore, and then I kind of, you know, go, you go at your own pace. When you want to take a break, you take a break. If you want to get off your bike and take a few pictures, you can do that without annoying anyone. But, uh, but I'm really glad that I came out with these guys, because he's, he's showing me some, you know, he, he's already showed me, like, a, a, a cool mountain swimming area, and then he showed me uh, some kind of cool restaurant, which is good because I, I know I I know my my wife likes food, but I don't care about food at all. Like it's bad when people come to visit me. Like when Sven comes to visit me and stuff. Like <laughs> I'm just laughing at the dangerousness of what I just did. I like took both hands and opened up my visor and I used both hands to like adjust the camera in my face but meanwhile I'm like heading at a corner with a big truck beside me. Um, so, what was I saying? Let's, okay, fuck this. Downshift over, downshift down the hill, rear tire locked up, bike was wobbling down the hill. I know this road. For the last hour or so, we've been riding on roads that I'm unfamiliar with and that they know. But, um, but I'm, this is a road that I ride on regularly, so. And it's a great road. This road is great to go fast on, only problem is, the police know that we like to go fast on this road and therefore they set up a good number of uh, speed traps on it regularly. But it's not, that's not, it's not even that bad. You get like, <laughs> maybe in, 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 in three different weekends, on one of the weekends, you'll have some cops setting up a speed trap. So it's only like one day, and it'll be somewhere on this long road. So you, but, but still, Sometimes they do, and you don't know where it is, and if you do get caught that one time, you're screwed. So the chances of you getting caught are still really slim, but it's there. Whoa. In the past, it didn't, it didn't matter, because in the past, Taiwan had a set, lim a set fine for speeding, and the fine was like $40 American, <laughs> like 40, 45 bucks American or something. 
so it didn't matter how fast you were doing or whatever like you could be doing 300 in a 50 kilometer an hour 50 kilometer hour zone you could be doing 300 on a Hayabusa and it would still be a $35 ticket and that's it but uh, Um, what's on what? Oh yeah, but now it's, they 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 copy they just copied America straight, just like word for word. They just saw they just decided to take a look at what America does, and they just like photocopied the American traffic laws and just applied them to Taiwan. So now it's like it's a, it's a graded. The fine is graded, and if you're doing more than like a certain amount, then it's like a thousand dollar, you know, one thousand, two thousand dollar American fine. Plus, you've got to go to court, and possibly do like jail. Like it's just, it went from thirty-five dollars to two thousand dollars. It's it's not a good thing. <laughs> it's funny, I've, I've already got a, you know, I'm not that old, but I already have the good old, I already have a good old days story. You know, remember the good old days when you could do whatever speed you wanted, and if you got a traffic ticket, it would just be like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Those are definitely the good old days. Yeah, and the good old days, even if I knew there was a traffic, like a, a stationary, like a set, speed camera on the side of the road, I would slow down for it because more often than not, they, they don't have film in them or they're, uh, yeah, or they're not turned on or whatever. The police don't have them all turned on all the time. They, 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 they rotate. So, so more often than not, the camera isn't even on. And if it is on and it does take your picture and there is film, then, well, the, the fine's only like 30, 40 bucks, so it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, in the good old days, I would fly down this road doing like a, a steady speed of three or four times the speed limit, and even if there was visible speed cameras on the side, I wouldn't slow down for them. Uh, and now what people do do is uh, do-do. Oh, he said do-do. <laughs> And now what people do do is uh, they just get up really early in the morning, like 5 o'clock in the morning or something, and then they just cover up their license plates and fly down this road. Because uh, it's, it's, it's too early for the police to be out. Police are, you know, like you get this or this way too few police to be of a, wor to be of a worry. And... And... Uh, Uh, oh yeah, and, and, and the stationary cameras can't get you if your license plate's covered. 